Hello students, in this video we will study the canal system which is present in the sponges. Okay, so the uh, in case of the sponges, the presence of canal system that is a characteristic feature. And uh, these canal which are the, uh, the canals transverse the wall of the sponges uh, cylinders in a simple or complicated manner. Okay, and there are usually three different types of the canal systems which are observed in the sponges. The first one that is the simplest and the uh, oldest one. So we call that system as the Ascon type of the system. Second that is known as the Sycon type of the system. And the third one that is known as the leucon type of the canal system. So first we study the ascon type of the canal system. Okay, so see observe the diagram. This is the asconoid type of the canal system. See this asconoid type of the canal system uh, which is the simplest one and it is present in the uh, ancient sponges. So actually... Uh, here if you just study the example uh, that is the clathrina uh, in which the asconoid type of the canal system is present and here the body is vas shape okay vas vas shape manje ka apan jala fuldani mhanto na marathi madhe flower pot okay so, so that body of that sponge is a flower shape and which possesses a large central cavity we call that cavity as the spongocil cavity now this cavity as it is present in the sponges we call that cavity as the spongocil cavity so this spongocil cavity open towards the upper end by a narrow opening and this is the narrow circular aperture is there we call this aperture as the osculum hmm. so this is the osculum which is surrounded by the monoexon spicules okay so this is the wall of the sponge actually that wall is made up of the outermost layer and the innermost layer so outermost layer and the inner epithelium in between that the uh, a single layer of the flat cell uh, that is the uh, pinocytosis they are present okay so the outer uh, epithelium actually this is outer epithelium which is commonly known as the epidermis and that epidermis which is made up of the cells we call those cells as the uh, pinacocyte cells now the inner epithelium see, see this dark colored black colored structure is there so the inner epithelium lining uh, the spongocil and which is composed of the specific type of cell we call the, those cells as the coanocytes. So the epidermis is made up of the pinacocytes and the dark color structure which lining the spongocil cavity we call that that cells which we call them as the coanocytes. Okay. So the mesenchyme which is present in between the epidermis and the innermost layer okay so here what happens see um, if you just observe the body body which of the asconoid sponge which is uh, possesses the small opening so this small opening uh, they are uh, present in many number and we call them as the ostia or we also call them as the incurrent pore means the water run inside the body inside the spongocil cavity through that particular ostia it is known as either ostia or it is also known as the incurrent pores so this is the name incurrent pore we also call that incurrent pore as the inhalant pores okay so these Incurrent pores that open here in the spongocin cavity. So each pore is a um, intracellular and it is a canal uh, through the tubular cells we call it as a porocyte. And since the body wall which is very thin and ostia which leads directly into the central cavity that is spongocin cavity. 
सो द वॉटर करंट वेन क्रिएटेड बाई द फ्लैजेला ओके द वॉटर स्पेसिफिक टाइप ऑफ करंट इज प्रोड्यूसेस सो द कोयानोसाइड्स दे पासिस थ्रू द इनकरंट पोस इन टू द स्पॉन्जोसिल कैविटी एंड वेन द वॉटर एंटर्स हियर इन द स्पॉन्जोसिल कैविटी थ्रू द स्पॉन्जोसिल कैविटी थ्रू द ऑस्क्यूलम द वॉट एवर द वॉट एवर द वॉटर इज देर दैट इज थ्रोन आउटसाइड द बॉडी सो दिज ऑस्क्यूलम एक्चुअली फर्निशिंग इन इट्स पैसेज ऑफ फूड एंड ऑक्सीजन एंड इट कैरी अवे द मेटाबोलिक वेस्ट ओके सच अ टाइप ऑफ द कैनल सिस्टम विच इज फाउंड इन अ वेरी फ्यू स्पॉन्जेस एंड विच आर द प्रिमेटिव वन ओके सो द रेट ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ वॉटर थ्रू दिज स्पॉन्जेस दैट इज वेरी स्लो because of the large spongosil cavity which contain much water and which cannot expel um, radially through the single osculum means many pores are there and since the excurrent means the water which is thrown outside the body through the osculum okay so this is about the structure of the ascolan type of canal system here very simple structure is there in current pores are there and they directly open here in the spongosil through the spongosil the water goes outside uh, and we call that portion as the osculum okay so the second type of the system that is known as the syconoid type of the canal system so initially when we studied in the ascolan type uh the epidermis means a vast like structure is there which is plain but here that plain wall is just shows the outpushing of the wall okay outpushing of the wall at a regular interval and since it is responsible for formation of the finger like structure okay so this is about the uh, modification means in case of ascolan there plain wall is there but here that plain wall shows the outgrowth or finger like projection and as a result the folding of the body wall we are observed here so such a type of the uh, system which is the characteristic of order heterocela and it is found particularly in the sypha and the grantia and uh, related other Uh, sponges so this finger like uh, projections which are observed we call them as the radial canal or we also call them as the flattened chambers and those flattened chambers they are lined by the coanocytes while uh, in the center again the same spongosil cavity is there now that spongos central sp spongosil cavity which is lined by the epidermal cell now at the first what happens see the radial canals they are the free projection um and the outside water current which surround them by their entire length okay so the um, most of the cyconoid uh, sponges the wall of the radial canal fuses in a such a manner that uh, between them definite canal like space which is produces and that is called as the in current canal see here this is the first radial canal this is the second radial canal so in between this radial canal again a small space is there so we call it as the in current canal okay and whole this radial canal is surrounded by the water outside water okay now what happens see the thick wall of the cyconoid sponge thus contain the alternate radial canal in current canal radial canal in current canal okay like this way the alternate arrangement is there so the in current canal is lined by the flat epidermal cells as they represents the original outer surface of the ascolan type of the sponge okay so here the in current canal which open okay just try to understand that these incurrent canals okay so the incurrent canals they open to the exterior between the blind outer end of the radial canal okay radial outside of the radial canal 
and here the uh, radial canal possesses the small openings we call them as the dermal ostea okay these are the dermal ostea through which the water enters here okay and the incurrent canals they communicate with the adjacent radial canal by the minute pores so we called them as the prosopyles okay so the prosopyles are there and the water entered inside the radial canal and from the radial canal the water entered here in the spongiosal cavity okay so see this is the uh, another diagram which clearly shows you the different types of pores okay so uh, here if you carefully observe the wall is there and this wall which shows outgrowth see this is the first outgrowth second one third fourth fifth sixth seven so these are the outgrowth okay so every if you carefully observe every outgrowth the small cells are there so in between this particular radial canal okay in between the two radial canal the dermal cortex is present okay so this is the another radial canal this one is the another this is the first one second one okay and this is one radiating canal hmm. one so the different radiating canals are there these are the outgrowths okay so these outgrowths they possesses the dermal cortex in between the two radial canal so we called it as a dermal cortex so here what happened see the outside water which entered through the dermal opening or dermal pores then they entered here here okay it is known as the incurrent canal okay this is a radial canal another radial canal in between whatever the species produces we called it as the incurrent canal so through the dermal pores the water enters here in the incurrent canal after the water enters here in the incurrent canal these are the small openings okay in every radial canal so through those opening we call those opening as the prosopyles so observed here this is the name prosopyle so this is the one radial canal which is made up of many prosopyle another radial canal so in between these two radial canal the incurrent canal through the when water enters here in the incurrent canal from here it goes here in the prosopyles through the prosopyles the water come here in the actual radial canal every radial canal which pour their uh, content through the apopyle see this is the small opening so this is the apopyle this is another apopyle another apopyle which just allowed the water to come here in the spongiosal cavity through the radial canal and from the spongiosal cavity the water goes outside through the osculum so this is the way how the water enter and leave the body of the that particular sponge so this is known as the syconoid type of the canal system so the first one asconoid which is the simple one slightly here the outgrowths are there since this is the modification present in the syconoid type of the canal system okay so here uh, we can observe the leconoid type third 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 type of the uh, system that is the leconoid type of the canal system now this uh, leconoid type of the canal system again shows the modification how see here uh, when we said that uh, in case of the okay in asconoid the wall is simple okay now the asconoid type of the system which is the oldest one the syconoid type of system where this wall push outward so it produces 
such a type of structure these are the outgrowth okay so this is the arrangement which is observed in the cyconoid one now the third type is the leuconoid where again here the formation of the outgrowth like structure takes place okay okay such a type of structure is there so this is the next and the higher modification we observed here so try to remember this structure for the leuconoid type of the canal system okay ithe mi fakta ek single line ne draw kelela hai ata hez structure apan jeva diagram madhe bagto teva aplyala te thoda sa complicated vatta पण जर तुम्ही व्यवस्थित इथे ऑब्झर्व केलं असेल मी जे स्टेप बाय स्टेप तुम्हाला मॉडिफिकेशन सांगितलं होतं ओके तर त्या मॉडिफिकेशनने जर लक्षात ठेवलं तर हे खूप सिम्पल आहे स्ट्रेट लाईन आउटग्रोथ अँड दिस इज ऑब्झर्व इन द सायकोनॉइड अँड इन द इन द ल्युकोनॉइड अगेन द आउटग्रोथ शोज आउटग्रोथ म्हणजे जे आउटग्रोथ ही सिम्पल वॉल होती त्याला जे आउटग्रोथ होतं त्या आउटग्रोथला परत आउटग्रोथ म्हणजे थोडक्यात काय की झाडाचं खोड आहे त्याला एक फांदी आली आणि त्या फांदीला परत अजून दुसरी फांदी आली त्या टाईपचं हे स्ट्रक्चर आहे हे फक्त लक्षात ठेवा ओके ओके सो दिस इज द ल्युकोनॉइड टाईप इफ यू केअरफुली ऑब्झर्व दी इन केस ऑफ द ल्युकोनॉइड टाईप हियर दी सी दीज आर दी रॅडियल कॅनल्स the radial canals again shows the flattening of the chambers so we call them as the flattened chambers hmm. now we again start from the first see the water first entered through the ostia means from the dermal pores the waters entered here in between these to radial see this is the first radial canal this is the second radial canal in between them the space is there we called it as the incurrent canal so through the water when enters through the dermal pore it comes here initially we called it as the incurrent canal so from the incurrent canal the water entered here in the prosopyle okay here in the prosopyle from prosopyle the water entered here in the flattened cells or flattened chamber after the flattened chamber here the water enter here we call this structure as the radial canal okay so the water entered here in the radial canal so from the radial canal the water enters into the next here here this is the x current canal okay baga he branch type structure this they we called it as the x current canal and these x current canals they pour the water here in the spongocele cavity and from the uh, spongocele cavity the water goes outside through the osculum okay so this is the modification which is takes place in the canal system okay try to understand the three different type of the canal systems okay thank you